Hello, my witches! Welcome back to Evolving Vibe, the community for witches, pagan spiritualists, and everybody in between. Shadow's up here in a window today, and he's sort of hanging out. And um, this is probably the third intro that I have actually recorded for what we're going to be going over today. So, to give you a little bit of backstory, about what, five, six months ago? I did a video on um, Wish.com and a witchy haul to see what maybe Wish.com actually has for witches and how long it takes to get in. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to do another one of those videos. However, this video turned into a commentary video. And um, check it out and let me know what you think in the comments if you do like this style of video. And if you do, I'll probably do some more. However, I actually went on Wish.com and I didn't go down. I was thrown down this rabbit hole. Um, I started innocently sipping tea and looking at some of um, what they have for witches. And then on the feed that was going on, and you'll see it in the video, so many other items came up that I really don't really have words for right now. Um, there's a lot of um, items for weaponry, which is kind of funny, and you'll see that in the video, but there's more items that are really beyond adult-centered. They're uh, just sexually um, provocative items, and um, I couldn't help but comment on that. So this isn't your normal witchy video. I do hope that you enjoy it, and be sure to stick around to the end, because at the very end of the video, I'll be sharing with you some news I got this week, which I found really phenomenal. And by the way, we're past 800 members in our community, and I cannot thank you guys enough for your support and for subscribing to the channel. And um, I do hope you enjoy the community as much as I enjoy doing these videos. And again, if you haven't done so already, please be sure, like, subscribe, leave a comment, push us past 1,000 subscribers, share yeah, the channel with friends, let them know, hey, I got this cool witch on YouTube, and I just love his channel, and I love our community. So, thanks for your support. I will see you on the other side of the camera. All right, everyone. So, let us get ready to go down that rabbit hole called Wish.com. Um, what I've done is grab myself some tea with my cup I got from Salem last time I went, and I'm just going to have some tea and have some fun with this. Mmm, tea's perfect. So let's get these glasses on and let's see what Wish.com has to offer us, shall we? So straight up out of the box, um, we have this hourglass, which is really, really cool. If you remember, I bought one a while back. It was the purple one. If it shows up, then um, I'll show it to you. But it was actually worth the money. One of the few things on Wish that was actually worth the money. Uh, along with that, let's see what else pops up. Let's see that. Mm, oh, oh my. A metal urethra catheter. I really don't know what I would want this for. So, metal urethra catheter, adult sexual health care products. And, um, I'm, uh, yeah, it's, um, it goes exactly where you think it goes. And Jad from the U.S., um, perfect size. The side that goes inside should be more smooth. Um, other than that, it's perfect. <clears throat> so I would think the part that's going inside, if you're going to do stuff like this, should be like smooth as ice. And if you're finding it's not smooth, I'm, I'm kind of thinking you might want to have stopped putting it in. Um, Jay, feels hefty and great. I wear it every day. All right, Jay. Also, Jeff from the U.S., I haven't used it yet, but it looks good. Well, get on it, Jeff, because we need a review. Um, what else do we have? I'm purposely ignoring some of these because it's just crazy. And what we have here looks like red, green, purple laser glove for dancing stage gloves, laser palm, DJ, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking you're going to burn someone's retinas out with that if you're doing it in a club. 
Um, let's see, what else do we have? These beads, <clears throat> if you remember my last uh, wish video, I bought um, these beads in particular, and um, <clears throat> they were so small. So small, in fact, they gave it to someone who's got really, really small wrists, and it was too small for them as well. So for $2, they definitely weren't worth it. No one's using them. And what the hell? Um, so this is weird. Uh, what removal stereo clip effectively removes skin tags? If you were going to remove skin tags, I'm thinking you wouldn't go on Wish to buy anything to do that, would you? And no comment. So maybe no one bought them. But we also have this what remover ointment. What remover ointment, blah, blah, blah. And Sherry, this is the only comment I'm going to read because it's so weird. Thank you very much. Super. Looks good in the kitchen. I'm not sure what she's doing with it in the kitchen, but here we are. And what else do we have? What the hell are these? It's a one-piece hot mini anti-wolf self-protection and a window breaker. Uh, stainless steel cat ear ring mini two self-defense. So I'm trying to wrap my brain around everything that was just delivered to me, but a hot anti-wolf self-protection so are wolves such a problem that you need to carry a cat ear ring with it and i'm thinking is a cat ear ring really going to stop a wolf attack what do a review say okay rita from the u.s my husband and my son enjoy their rings well that's interesting hopefully there's no domestics in your house because that's going to get a little bit messy what else do we have going on here? Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> the amethyst looks pretty nice. Um, only $2. Natural amethyst crystal quartz. And um, got some really good reviews. But I'm not buying anything on Wish.com. Okay, I sort of got myself a little um, um, sidetracked because I just saw this other thing on the screen. So let's pop this up. Simulated milky liquid. And it sort of looks like something that I'm thinking that it shouldn't be. But look at the hand. Look how it's like... Ew. Moisturizes and smooth skin. So there's that. Um, it gives you instructions, but look at that hand. I can't get over the way that looks. And I'm uh, okay. Uh, let's just move forward. So super capacity viscous human simulated milky liquid. <sighs> wow, I don't even know how to say this. Um, very fast shipping. We'll update. Good job, but kind of, whatever. Um, Cooper, perfect amount for the price. Would definitely buy again. Came earlier than expected, and so did he, which is probably why he bought this simulated human liquid. And first time my order arrived earlier, I was so happy. Nice product, and thank you, Wish. And George. I've bought the smaller bottle in the past, and it was great, so this time I supersized me, and my fiancé loves the stuff. Ironically, she loves it more than his stuff, I guess, so there's that. We're just going to move forward and away from that now. And what is this? A spare fisher launcher thingy? Fish dots and fish dot storage box for shooting fish and a dot launcher. So oh, I didn't realize that that was a big sporty thing, but here we are. 
Um, good quality, no instructions on how to use it. I'm thinking, John, that it's going to be pretty much self-explanatory. You sort of load it up and put it in a fish and dot them, I guess. Mark, he says, looks good. Have absolutely no idea on how it works, but it does look good. Well, I'm glad that it looks good, Mark. I really am. And what else do we have over here going on? Um, we get these pendulums, which honestly don't look bad. Cold metal pendulum for wicker, antique, copper, gold colored. And as I said before, Wish just throws words in all together and just hopes that it lands, I think. But um, they look pretty good. Um, I don't really see, well, here's the size. So it looks like it's pretty good size too, you know, uh, for what, $2? That's not bad. Not buying any, but that's not bad. What else do we have that we can look at? All right, we have this really freaking crazy ass item. It's a new laser aiming slingshot. So you can actually aim with a laser and shoot sling or slingshot anything that's in that laser. So I'm not sure. Um, I'd buy it. One person did though, Mark, great slingshot, needs stronger straps. Sorry, Mark, you couldn't defile or kill whatever the hell it was that you were actually trying to. Let's see, what else do we have? What other kind of fun things? That, what in the hell? We have the knuckle stunner. So not only do you have brass knuckles, which I would think is pretty much effective. I've never been hit by one, but I guarantee I never want to. But along with the knuckles, uh, brass knuckles, you actually have a stun gun with 28 million volts. So if you can't get them with your punch because you don't land solid punches, at least you have a stun gun with it, right? Um, Kimberly bought it from the United States. It is so easy to use. Made very well, easy to use. Okay, Kim, we get it. It's easy to use. I'm kind of wondering, though, how many times have you had to use it? And if you had to use it more than one time, you may want to start thinking about re-looking at some of your life decisions and maybe with whom you might be hanging out with. Mark also bought it, again, from the U.S., which is embarrassing. Great Knuckles Stun Gun. Packs a punch. Ha <laughs> ha! Mark, he must be the life of parties with his one-liners. And Michelle also from the U.S., she, I hot the hell out of it. Them, there, great. I love geeks. So, I'm not sure what kind of statement Michelle's trying to make, but okay. And LaVon, my boyfriend loves it. Thanks, Wish Store. And Matthew, they work just as described. The grip and the activation button are going to take a little getting used to, but all in all, a good product. Again, Matt, how many times have I had to use this damn thing, and why? What else do we, what in the fuck is this? So they have for covert use, it can be used covertly no matter when and where. I think it would matter when and where at some point in time. A one-piece male, a one-piece men, male, soft ring, round men, time delayed, rings, hoop, couple, lover. Again, let's throw words in there, see what sticks. Um, nobody bought any, surprisingly enough, but damn, that looks cumbersome. And I'm not even sure how covert that is. Wouldn't you notice if someone's got something like that strapped down around their thing? I think I would. Actually, no. I know I would. And what is this? <sighs> Micro Men's Cobra Breathable Resin Cage. Gifts, lovers, love, couples, daily necessities, training tools. And again, it looks like a cage that goes around your penis. Along with that, it's got a lock and keys, which is actually kind of funny. Did anyone buy it? No. Good. And let's see what else we have. 
We have some more pendulums. These I actually have seen. Other people have bought them. And they were really, really poorly made, really cheap. They're only $1.36. But um, even questionable as to whether or not the stones were really real. Well, look at this damn thing. We got ourselves a giant life-size dragon earring. It's vintage. I don't, wouldn't really consider that vintage. Chinese-style dragon earrings for a woman. That's kind of limiting. I mean, a guy could wear that, too. I wouldn't say they'd want to, but a guy could. Did anyone buy any? No comments. Half the fun is just looking at the comments, I think. And let us see what else we have here. Okay. This got my attention. Let's see what this is actually called. Powerful hunting laser slingshot catapult hunting shooting accessories. Shooting fish equipment. Why did this become a thing with like shooting fish? And um, we got a couple of reviews. Let's see. Um, one of the best things I've bought on Wish so far absolutely great value for the money and comes with loads of spears built solidly of metal this thing will be super handy and durable i can't wait to use it okay gun guy just slow your roll a little bit angela my husband absolutely love it and brad from canada perfect as described I'm not sure I'd buy that. I'm not sure I'd want to use it. And it's what's well, funny though, it's even at the reel. So after you spear the fish or whatever you're spearing, you can reel it back in. What else do we have going on here? I'm afraid to look at this because I can't believe how much stuff is on here about sex. But it's like a train wreck. You've got to look. So look at this damn thing. I'm trying to wrap my brain around it. It's a multifunctional male chastity lock with hook, which I don't understand. Andrew, found out how to do it, comfortable and sexy. I, I really don't know. I, I don't think it'd be either one of those things. Tommy from the U.S. Fits well. The ball could have been a bit longer, um, bah, but all in all, good fit. Alex, what do you have to say? I'm afraid to ask. Enjoyable. Fits perfectly for a six-foot man. Quite sizable and an unusual pleasure feeling, especially when walking. Oh, this last sentence, it's hurting my brain. Just be careful not, uh, just be careful of not encouraging a bowel movement. If you're wearing something that's going to encourage a bowel movement, maybe... Your body shouldn't be wearing it. Just saying. We'll move on. Um, more brass knuckles. Wish has really gotten into being violent. Um, some more stones, which is always cool. But again, I'm not buying stuff like that from Wish right now. Or probably ever again. Um, that last time I bought stuff, it just la took so long to come in. And um, you saw how it was. It just wasn't all that great. Um, I'm afraid to look at some of these things. Well, this is screaming, look at me. So for $56, you get all of these toys, if you will. So some of them I get, but some of them I don't get. So let's look at this. Um, <clears throat> I guess that the little purple ball thingies would be like little nipple, um, whatever hold this but this bulb syringe thing is kind of scary this thing i don't even know oh, this is scary this just looks like it would hurt and if not hurt it would definitely cause some form of infection because there's no way you're getting that damn thing cleaned and the gloves the gloves get me like with the little spikes on them and i'm like in what context do you use those gloves where do they go how do they work I hope this comes with instructions because it's just so confusing. Did anyone actually buy this? Oh, we have James from Canada. We love playing with this. All right, James, I'm happy for you, man. You do you. What is this? So they're really big on weapons. This is the 2021 Fango New Ballistic Dot Gun Launcher. And, um, 
clearly it's for launching darts. And nobody bought it, so I saw, but that just looks kind of odd. Do they, does it work? I'm afraid that I wouldn't even want to buy it from Wish. If it backfires, that's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm looking to see if they have any examples of it actually sticking in or anything. <clears throat> and nope, they don't. Well, that was a waste of time. We have a saxophone weed pipe, so you can place the sax and get high, or get high and play the sax, whichever you want to do, I guess. Um, let's look at some reviews. Rhonda from the U.S. Just to describe, works great, love it. Kyle, little screw to clean it. Seems all there, I love it. And Randy, it's a great little pipe. I have bought three so far and will be ordering more. Yo, Randy, slow your roll, man. How many pipes do you actually need? Let's maybe, maybe you got a bit of a weed problem if you've got like four or five, six pipes that you're using simultaneously. And what else do we have going on here? Let's see. They have so many different things that I, I really don't know where I want to stop. But this scream, stop and look at me. So again, more weapons. But this one's a ring that you would wear, ironically enough, with what looks to be like um, legal scales on it. And <laughs> it's got a hidden invisible blade. So I'm thinking this would be a near lethal thing. But what really gets me is that middle picture with looks like them actually skinning a fish. So Wish has really become anti-fish lately. And um, this ring just looks like that would be something that would get you like 15 to life if you ever use it. There's no way you're going to be able to claim self-defense with that. Um, some of the comments. Angela from the U.S. Of course, I love my new defense ring. No damage to the box or to the ring. Like, that's a thing, I guess. Thank you, Wish. Queen from the U.S. Love it. Just like the photo. Had to get two. So don't go fucking around with Queen because she's going to fuck your world up. What else do we have? With this resin ring. Okay, but we do have a customer reveal. And I'm trying to figure out how it actually works. Just out of curiosity, but not really. But it's the men's fashion Cobra Breathable Resin Cage. Um, for obviously necessities for training tools. And we have a customer re review from Canada. Perfect length, however, a little small around. Appeared to fit nicely. However, my girth caused it to crack after extended wear overnight. Why would you want to wear this? But why would you want to wear this overnight? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Something a little bit more sane. And that's saying a lot. But um, we have... What is this? High definition, transparent, anti-fog, and splash-proof protective mask with det detachable nose pads. So this is great if you want to go like rob a bank or something. Um, I can't see wanting to wear that, and I can't actually see breathing with that in. Um, but Siba from the U.S. said, very good quality, and I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Henry, love it. It's great. Okay, Henry. And Sandra from the U.S. also, <clears throat> they are perfect and truly don't fog up. Can you imagine your own breath smell, though? That'd be kind of weird. So that's uh, like, what the hell, no. Some more spears, they got a lot more knives. Um, there's just so much going on here that I really don't want to spend a whole hell of a lot of time um, making a long ass video. So let's just do like one or two more and then um, we'll end up closing this out. And I'm just looking for something that's just um, different than what we've been seeing. But I'm not seeing that actually happening. Um, maybe one more. We'll just do one more, then we're going to close this on out. And let's see. One more thing. Okay. I don't even know what this is. Um, oh, my God. I'm afraid to know. It's a male chastity device, super small cage, 
with stealth lock ring. So super small cage, if it's that small, you probably don't need to worry about putting a device on to protect chastity. <laughs> Andrew from the US, the urethra tube is amazing. Uh, okay, Andrew. Um, C from Great Britain, received a month early, feels good on, looks well made. Jesse from the US, cages of great quality. I'm probably too big for this device, but I used a belt to hold it in place. Works great, very comfortable. Buy it! Haven't used the urethral tube yet. It's a bit large for me. Okay, so Jesse, I share too much. Um, and his comment is going to be the last one we're actually doing with Wish today. So I'm going to be turning this camera around and um, we'll go back over to the outro and I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. So there you have it, folks. That is my Wish.com journey down the rabbit hole. What do you think? Um, I can't believe all the things that I found on there um, without looking for it. And honestly, I could probably have spent another couple of hours just doing a commentary because what I did say, there was just so much more. And some of the things I didn't even want to put on YouTube because I just didn't think it was appropriate. And I was afraid that um, YouTube itself would um, pull them down. All that being said, let me know what you think of um, the commentary videos. If there is, uh, if you like them first off, and if there's any topics specifically you want to see commentary on going forward, let me know inside of the comments. Now, as I said at the very end of the video, I was going to share something with you, and here it is. So I, um, a while back, introduced my channel and our community to Feedspot. Feedspot is a group that actually reviews um, YouTube channels and a lot of other things, but they go before panelists and they look at the worthiness of it and if they want to promote them um, with Google searches and other type of online searches. So this week, I just got this letter in actually saying that our channel, Evolving Vibes, was voted by the panelists for being one of the top 30 witchy channels on the internet and on YouTube. And um, I feel humbled by that. And most importantly, I want to share that with you, uh, community, because you're all a part of it. And I want to thank each and every one of you very much for your support, your help, and your subscriptions. It makes such a huge difference for me. Even as we're closing in now on our first 1,000 subscriptions, I'm sure there's going to be even more. So... It's the end of the video. I thank you so much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, be sure to like, be sure to turn around and watch one of these two other videos coming up. And hey, if you haven't done so already, like, subscribe, leave that comment. And as always, be safe, be well, and be blessed.